have a really good story about a shoe. And you were there. 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 Who's she pointing to? Remember? It was a crisp autumn day in the middle of fall, and we drove out to an abandoned gold mine on Dad's property. Remember, but didn't I have a mustache back then? Like this? Do you know that in some parts of the country, people just go to sporting events and movie theaters and bowling establishments just for fun? What a bunch of idiots. Me too. Me three. Me four. Me five. Me seven. <laughs> we were looking around the gold mine like, I ain't find no shit, no nothing. And then suddenly, we found that boots. It was weird because usually you find two boots together, but no, not this time. We only found the one. It was spooky, but then I picked up the boot and shook it like a Polaroid picture. No, you were shaking it more like a martini. Oh yes, my signature move. But this time, the boot wasn't filled with ice and vodka. It was filled with bones. It had a boner. It wasn't the good kind of boner. It was the kind of bones from a human foot. Up until this point, the coolest thing I ever found in a shoe was a sock. And then we were like, well, what do we do? Look for the rest of the body? Because in science class, they teach us that the foot bone's connected to the leg bone, and the leg bone's connected to the shoulder bone, the shoulder bone's connected to the hip bone, etc. If the body was playing hide and seek with us, it totally would have won. And I think our best idea was to spend our one phone call on dad. I remember that he answered the phone like the Budweiser frog and he was all, what's up? And I was like, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? And then five minutes later, I was like, what's up? But dad, seriously, we found a foot skeleton and dad was like, is it still alive? No, Dad. It's dead. I'm so sorry for your loss. I know how much Dad loved that foot. And then Dad was like, thanks for your condolences. Just call the troopers and see what those fucking assholes have to say. Hello, 911? Hello? Are you my mother? No. What is it this time, Lauren? Over. Well, I hope you're sitting down because that's way more comfortable than standing. I was out on an abandoned gold mine with my favorite sister and my other sister, and we found a dead foot in the woods. Hmm. How dead is this foot? Over. Well, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'd say it's a size 11. <laughs> hmm. Well, how long has the foot been dead for? Over. By the looks of it, I'd say between 75 and 80 years. Well, nobody's reported a missing foot in the last 80 years, so you can keep it. Over. Okay, love you. 10-4. But what am I gonna do with one foot? I already have two. Now I'm gonna have a third one. Where am I gonna find the time for all of these feet? Having another foot is a huge responsibility and I just don't know if I'm ready for that. So we did what any normal person would have done. Put the boot on your head? No, we put it back where we found it. And that's the story of the foot in the boot. Cool story, bro. Please hang up and try again. And that's a story. <laughs> and that's a story of the foot in the boots. <laughs>